PPG and more. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with Your Girl Philly Phil. Yes, today we're talking about Tim Norman and Sweetie Pies. So this document was just filed January the 22nd. Plaintiff, United States of America, they're the plaintiff versus the defendant, James Timothy Norman. It says the defendant, James Timothy Norman's motion for disclosure of information pursuant to Brady and Giglio and the defendant's motion for early production of material and memorandum of points and authorities in support thereof. So comes now defendant by and through undersigned counsel Joseph M. Hogan and Ethan B. Collegia and respectfully moves this honorable court for disclosures of all information pursuant to Brady, disclosures of all Brady and Jig Jiglio material. Forgive me for butchering that word. So the attorneys are stepping things up. You know, all defendants have a right to receive all of the evidence that the courts may have against them. So the defendant also moves this honorable court for early entry of, of an order requiring early disclosure of material under 18 USC section 3500. And pretty much they want all of the materials, all of the evidence, whether relevant to trial or suppression witnesses. They want anything that's being held to keep witnesses in secret or whatever, they want it all disclosed. They want it to be disclosed at least 30 days before suppression hearings and all Brady material be disclosed immediately. Defendant requests the following exculpatory evidence and asks that the information requested be produced immediately to the defense. Any evidence in the possession of the government, the existence of which is known or by the exercise of due diligence may become known to the government. So guys, I'm not gonna read all of this. The attorneys, again, they're just stepping things up. They found these two new documents. I'll show you the other one here in a minute, but they want all evidence to be released to them, which they have a right to do. Okay, go on through here. A full and complete statement of all promises, considerations, rewards, or inducements made by the government is prosecutors, agents, or agencies to induce or encourage any individual's testimony, cooperation, or provision of information wherein the government has agreed, either with the individual, their counsel, agent, or whomever. Pretty much told Travel Hill, if you help us, you know, give us the goods on Tim, what you know, we'll, you know, go light on you or go not go for the death penalty. Anything they've told any of these witnesses that would help them get information on Tim, the attorneys are asking for it to be produced. Right here, like not to prosecute said person for any crimes, not to prosecute a third party person, anyone, you know, it could be someone else in the family that has dropped some dimes on Tim and they've told them, if you tell us what you know, we won't prosecute you, you know, you'll receive immunity, who knows? Someone may have been given immunity. We're gonna find out real soon. To provide a formal grant of statutory immunity, yes, or to provide any an informal assurance that the person will not be prosecuted in connection with any testimony, cooperation, or information given. That's what I said, immunity. Someone could have been given immunity to give up what they know about Tim because I know there is a lot of information out there, guys. So you guys go through this to comply with any prior agreements, although said witnesses may have previously violated a part of their agreement. So the attorneys may know something else too. This is good. They're getting they're getting ready to ramp things up, guys. We're gonna be going to trial soon, I do believe. And here down here on uh J to seal any plea or plea agreement of that person, provide favorable treatment or consideration, including but not limited to money, expensive expenses. Wow. To make beneficial recommendation regarding the person to any state or federal agency. There's a lot in here. They're wanting everything to be released. Uh, notice including date, amount, and method, form of payment, any purpose or, or of any monies paid to any witness. They're saying if anyone was paid anything, they want to know. Any writings, cancel checks, receipts, vouchers, or other documents generated as a result of any promises, statements, agreements, 
understatings or arrangements by which any of the matters listed in paragraphs five and six. Yes, the attorneys have stepped it up a notch. Come on down here because it's long. Due process requires the immediate disclosure of exculpatory evidence. And then it goes here to just list what it says in Brady versus Maryland in 1963 that the Supreme Court held that due process forbids a prosecutor from suppressing evidence favorable to an accused upon request where the evidence is material either to guilt or to punishment, irrespective of the good faith or bad faith of the prosecution. They want it all. They want to see what they got on their client because they're getting ready to build up their defense and looks like they're going to try to bring it. Uh, such evidence, if, dis if disclosed and used effectively, may make the difference between conviction and acquittal. Okay. Then it just uh, lists some cases that, that they're referencing there. Wow. This guy is, like I say, this document is pretty long too. It's just listing what happened in that case. So I'm not going to read it all. But you guys are certainly welcome to take this document and go through it. I just pretty much wanted to let you know there were there was new documents filed, okay? Let me go on down here. Defendants request for early disclosure of Genix material. They want the material. They want everything. Okay, let's take a look at this other document. So this one was filed on the 22nd as well. This is just the notice of the filing uh, that Tim Norman buying through his counsel. They uh, were filed a discovery letter. Come on down here. Uh, Ethan Collegia, legal counsel for James Timothy Norman, certified that a true and accurate copy of the foregoing notice of filing. Okay, so letting them know that that's been submitted. Miss Angie Dennis, this letter is to confirm our request for discovery in this matter. Yes, the defense counsel requests an opportunity to inspect or review or receive copies of all information included by the following which the government must disclose. Yes, they have to disclose it. And then they list the things that they're citing. They want all oral written and recorded statements and testimony. They want everything. Okay, just go on through here. They want it all. All information and material known to the government which may be favorable to, favorable to the defendant because they may have some things that's actually favorable to Tim. His attorneys want it. Any material or information which would tend to attenuate, exculpate, exonerate, mitigate, or reduce <laughs> or limit the defendant's involvement in or liability. There may be something out there that, hey, makes Tim look like he didn't have much to do with it. We really don't know. We really don't know. All I know is those text messages said a lot. Okay. So the attorneys, like I say, guys, they have stepped it up. They want all the evidence and materials that the government has. Yes, they do. And they're going to get ready to build their defense for their client. Copies of mm, any latent fingerprints or prints of any type. Wow. And reports concerning obtained prints. If there's fingerprints evidence, they want it. They want it all. Defense counsel further requests that the government advise all agents and officers involved in this case to preserve all rough notes. Rough notes should be provided to defense counsel through copies or an opportunity for inspection if they contain any of the information or material mentioned above or Genix material which is discoverable. Finally, we ask that you continue to supplement any response to these requests as required all right, pretty much they want the evidence, guys. And they want everything that they have to offer right now. His attorneys, like I say, they have submitted their letter of discovery and they've cited the cases showing that they deserve to have all of that so they can build their defense for their client. I just wanted to show you guys these latest two documents that had been filed in the court on behalf of James Timothy Norman and you can pretty much say, and his uh, crew as well, because they're all in it together. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you soon. In a long, long time, long time, honey, but I know.
Everybody ain't your partner. I say I got you, I got you. Well, just hold it down and keep it solid. And when you're not around, I protect your name. I won't talk about you. Everybody.